Okay, so now that we got the fuel cell in, here's kind of what I'm thinking in terms of... Shut up! Jesus Christ! <sighs> Radiator. <laughs> Alright, radiator. So here's what I'm thinking. So the fuel cell obviously comes farther forward than would be ideal. It's what it is. We're just dealing with things right now. In terms of heat evacuation to get the heat out of the frontal area and also to help create downforce. Kind of mocked it, obviously mocked this up in cardboard. I tried coming forward with it, going backward with it, uh, putting it on an angle. My initial idea was to have this thing on a pretty severe angle and the scoop would actually be, or the, the vent would be closer back here. So the, you know, the radio would be flat and just, poof, and just blow right out. With the fuel cell in the way, can't do that. So this was kind of the best compromise that I could come up with. Um, because the, the factors that we have to kind of take into account right now is the height of the radiator itself and the ride height of the car. So we can't obviously go too low or you're gonna be smashing it on the ground. Can't go too high or we're not gonna clear the, the, uh, the front um, fascia thingy that goes right there. So we need to create a lower mount, obviously, to hold the radiator up and then some upper mounts. So I am finally gonna get to do something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, just haven't had uh, the opportunity to do uh, given needy mcgee back here so we are going to get to try out my new tube bender and there she is uh it's a jd squared um unit modified with the swag off-road um harbor freight pneumatic uh ram i did have this as a manual setup but with a manual setup you need to anchor it to the floor and as you can see by my copious amount of room that's not really an option so i needed to be able to move this thing around so the pneumatic arm actually enables me to do that so anyway yeah so I have never bent tube before. <laughs> this will be a first for me. Um, and I, at first I wasn't going to film this, but you never know. Sometimes when you do things for the first time and just it goes horribly wrong, it makes for good content. So figure throw the camera on. Let's see how badly we fuck this up. And yes, I'm aware that everything looks like a complete shit show, and that's because it is. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to overhaul this place. Um, once Becky's out of here, <clears throat> get things cleaned up and back to like a normal state. <sighs> Here's the, this will be the biggest test. Is can we even fit this stupid thing in here? <sighs> oh, all right. All right, so we are gonna need 12 inches down. You done? Okay. So, I hope you can hear me because the camera's all the way over there. So, it's 31 and a half inches between the frame rails. So, we have a four and a half inch um, center line radius die. Six and a half. I don't, I don't know where I can move it. Six. <laughs> Shit. Five and a half inch. Okay. If we know that this is five and a half inches, we know. That's 31 and a half between there, so we'll take five and a half on each bend, take that out of the 31 and a half. It's 20.5 inches. So if we measure from the shiny part, 20 and a half. All right, so if we start our bend there, that should give us another five and a half, and that should be 31 and a half. So this should square up with the inside of the rail. Sure. <laughs> Iron hole. There we go. So obviously we're a tad long, so we took it out to the chop saw real quick. Knock these down to foot lengths um, from the bend marks. Um, when you use the bender, you know, where the die contacts it, it leaves these little marks. It kind of so it gives you a good reference point uh, to measure off of. And now we fit. 
I just cut the shit out of my arm. <laughs> awesome. All right. So, now that... Ew. It's literally like a chunk of my skin on this thing. That's, that's really gross. All right, so now that we got this cut down, uh, now it's just a matter of getting the pitch right. Um, I cut these straight, um, but we're gonna end up angling them um, probably 20 degrees, if I had to guess, um, to come forward and underneath the radiator. Um, and then we'll just put the mounting tabs on it and uh, weld these to the frame rails and well, should have a lower radiator support. So let's go. Also, I gotta, I gotta take care of that, I guess. <laughs> Such an idiot. <clears throat> All right, finally. So yeah, after a lot of cutting and grinding, <laughs> um, this is a 43 degree angle in case you're wondering, because, you know, reasons. Um, yeah, all right, we're good to go. And yes, it's a lot shorter, and no, I don't, I don't wanna talk about it, so. Alright, let's get it burned in. First time Ben job didn't turn out too bad. And Becky now has a radiator. You know, top mounts, gotta be honest, not happy with them, but it'll work, you know, for now. There, there's, like I said before, there's gonna be version two, version three of this car, so. First round, we're just trying to make things work. <laughs> this is more of a proof of concept than anything, so. Um, yeah, all right, so now that we got the radiator in, now, and we do have a couple issues and I might as well show them to you. So yes, <laughs> the neck <laughs> interferes with the top support. I know, it bothers me too, <laughs> but we'll get there. Um, <laughs> yes, so now it's just a matter of getting um, some ducting in here. Um, I have fans coming, they're not here yet, basically, I just need to clear those bottom tabs. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna have the ducting come up and swoop into the fuel cell. It's gonna come up over the fuel cell and here. Um, that way the air has a, you know, as it exits the radiator comes up and then out and is guided um, kind of over the car in a this motion. So, and then we'll just need to box in the side so it actually like funnels and doesn't try to exit into the wheel wells. So that is what we're going to be working on next. So that's a wrap. Make sure to swing in next week when we start working on the hood and the arrow for the front end because that'll be a good time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. But as always remember, on projects like this thing, sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. I will see you next time.